He's here, Jenny, Mum called out. Where are you? We're all in the hearth room. The announcement pulled Jenny from her musings with the force of a wrecking ball. Sitting on her bed, she struggled to feel even half as enthusiastic as her mother sounded about Matt's visit. Okay. Okay? Her mom's incredulous tone drifted closer through the closed door. Jenny, Matthew seems especially eager to see you tonight. Don't keep him waiting. Jenny rolled her eyes. Heaven forbid she ever keep Matt Lap waiting. Immediately embarrassed by her unkind thoughts, she got to her feet. I'll be there in a minute, Mum. Her mother's footsteps paused right outside her door. Hurry now. Kevin says Matt has some news to share. News? Was tonight finally the special evening she'd been waiting for? The night her entire family had been waiting for? A burst of optimism filled her heart. Maybe Matt would say all the things she'd dreamed he would. Maybe at long last they could plan a future together. I'm hurrying. I'll be right out. After opening her door, she realized she'd left her journal open on her bed. She closed it with a snap and returned it to its usual resting place, a pretty wooden box on the side of her bed. She'd kept a journal for six years. Her parents had given her one when she'd turned 15. Mum had said that all young women needed a place to store their secrets. And since it was likely she'd be courted soon, she was surely going to have many. Thinking back to those first months, Jenny sure did have a lot of secret thoughts. But most of them had been about how disappointed she'd been not to have a special bow. Now that she'd just turned 21, Jenny wished she could have given her younger self a talking to. She should have spent more time concentrating on being grateful for her blessings instead of worrying why she wasn't the most popular girl at the Sunday singings. Everything happened in God's time. She knew that now. Especially since she now had the perfect bow, Matt Lapp.